So today, we'll be talking about menstrual cups. So this is the menstrual cup um, that I have. I actually have two. The first one I got is from Diva Cup. And I don't remember how much it was because I got it two years ago. But it was, I believe, around like $20. And this is how they come. This is what they look like. To talk to you guys about the pros and cons of using a menstrual cup instead of using um, traditional feminine products like tampons, pads, things like that. Me personally, I love my menstrual cup. It's probably the best investment that I have ever made. It's economically awesome. You don't have to spend money on pads every month. Um, I still buy panty liners just to catch like you know the extra drippage but other than that I do not have to go every month and buy pads so yeah so first pro there are no harsh chemicals dyes preservatives odor neutralizers none of that bad stuff going near your sacred space it's just medical grade silicone that's it. Second benefit of using a menstrual cup is you can leave them up there for up to 12 hours unlike tampons which can also cause toxic shock syndrome. You can only wear them I believe for up to eight hours. I think that's the number but with menstrual cups you can wear them for up to 12 hours and then you just remove. Third benefit everyone loves to save money. It's a one-time investment Usually it's under $20 for the smaller cup. There is a bigger version available and it saves you money. You don't have to purchase pads for six, seven dollars every month and that's if you don't bleed heavy. So who doesn't want to save money? Fourth benefit is that you can't feel it. You don't feel anything. It's similar sensation to wearing a tampon you don't feel it when it's up there the silicone is very flexible and malleable so it literally moves with you you don't feel anything when it's up there benefit number five overall better vaginal health the menstrual cups don't dry you out or chafe you like tampons would it's not as invasive and abrasive as a tampon would be it's smooth and easy. With the menstrual cup your vaginal pH stays in line and it also keeps the good bacteria circulating in there so no more toxic tampons and with that being said I believe I'm on number six no toxic shock syndrome there is no side effect for wearing a menstrual cup you don't have to worry about possibly dying <laughs> on your moon time because you have a tampon in or you left it in too long or you need the super maxi jumbo tampon and then that increases your risk for toxic shock syndrome the bigger you get so just use a menstrual cup you won't die <laughs> you get to see how much blood you actually release um, with pads and tampons you don't really see it because it just gets absorbed but you can literally track how much blood you release every month. You get Once you get used to it, it's so easy. It's literally just like, boop, empty, rinse, wash, put it back in, and that's it. It's really easy to use. People think it's really hard, and it's not. It also helps the environment. So I have here, on average, a woman will contribute 300 pounds of feminine product waste in her lifetime. Only one woman, one woman, 300 pounds of feminine product waste in her lifetime. And you can cut all that down with just this one little simple contraption. <laughs> but I like or love a menstrual cup because I feel like it connects you more with your moon cycle. There's not this stigma, there's not this embarrassment, there's not this gross factor. Cause you're literally in there <laughs> putting it up and taking it out and you know, blood gets on your hands and you don't look at it as this disgusting thing it's just something that you do every day or something that you do for a few days 
every month. It's just like, oh, I have to wake up and brush my teeth. It's like, oh, gotta change my cup or gotta empty my cup out. And it connects you and it, it just lets you be more aware of what's really going down, down there. So this, I don't think this is a scientific fact, but I know I can vouch for it and other women have vouched for it as well. Using a menstrual cup has reduced the crampage. Don't think that's a word, but crampage. So I've experienced that it doesn't hurt as much. You know, I've used pads, I've used tampons, and I feel like all those chemicals in that area cause more cramps and all that because, you know, your body's combating all these chemicals that are going on around and inside your vagina and menstrual cups don't do that. Like I said, I forget I have it by day three. I'm just like, oh yeah, end of the day I gotta change my cup. So I know I listed a lot of pros. There are a few cons I have to say with using a menstrual cup. Um, Definite number one is it gets a little messy. You get blood on your hands, you know, like I said, you gotta get in there and you gotta clean it and you gotta touch it. So that's, that can be a huge turnoff for most women. Like they don't like to even see their menstrual blood, which is weird, but that's a number one con. Number two, if you've never had sexual intercourse before, it's it'll be really hard to insert the cup because you don't know what it's really supposed to like feel like or what's going on in there so that will be a little bit difficult if you've never had sex before first the third thing is that it can be a little tricky to get used to in the beginning to learn how you know to insert it best fit to your vagina because every woman's is different so how you choose to insert it is different for every woman and um, yeah, it can be tricky because you have to make sure it actually latches on. What does it latch on to? Why can't I think about it? You have to make sure it latches onto your cervix. There you go. To make sure that it's actual suction so that no blood is flowing out and all that good stuff. So it may be a little difficult the first few times. It took me about a cycle and a half to really get it down pat. And the fourth con is if you have really heavy bleeding, you have to change it more often. And if you're in a public space, it's not convenient. It's not easy. I usually walk around with a water bottle and paper towel and um, the bottle of a pH balanced feminine wash. I got mine from the Diva Cup company. It's called Diva Wash, but there are other natural, holistic women who sell pH balanced wash that is okay for the yoni. So now I will show you how you would use it. So some people like to keep this long stem on or keep the stem on. I don't. I usually cut it to about the first notch. So if you can see, I usually cut it to about the first notch here. Some people like to keep it so you can pull it out. This thing is just weird to me. I don't want that chilling in my vaginal canal whatsoever. I insert it. I take it and I fold it in half. And then I fold it in half again. Like this. And then I usually put this part in first. And kind of like... <laughs> this is so weird. So I kind of put it in like this. And then I let it open up right at the opening. Like that. <laughs> And then I push it up. And then when I push it up, I give it a nice little turn or two around my cervix just to make sure that it is in place. And then that's it. And then to take it out, you just bear down a little bit. If you, you know, do Kegels and such things, you know how to use your muscles in your pelvic floor. So you just push it a little bit. And you, they say you're not supposed to grab here, but I usually grab the little tip or these little rubber ridges here and pull down and then when you take it out you just kind of take it out like this in a swooping motion so the fluid doesn't spill and you just boop, empty it in the toilet just like that it's really simple so you can also see that there are ventilation holes on either side 
and this is the part that sits around your cervix, but the ventilation holes are needed. And you also want to make sure that when you take out your menstrual cup and you clean it, that these are free and open. And you can also see here, I don't know if you could really see it, but you can see that there are measurements where you can actually see how much you're bleeding every day or every cycle. And my little diva cup came with this cute little cloth, cotton cloth carrying case. And this cup I actually purchased from Nurse and Nefertiti and this one comes with a little satin case. So that's the menstrual cup and that's the pros and the cons and that's how you use it. Like I said, I vouch for them. I actually have them in my bag because my mom does give money, of course. Day two. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I will never go back to wearing regular pads or tampons ever again. Another thing. When I do use a panty liner to catch all the excess little blood that might come because my flow is like heavy the first two days so sometimes a little excess tends to drip out um it's not a significant amount but i use organic cotton panty liners organic cotton panty liners do not use the synthetic chemically ridden stuff that messes up your whole vagina oh, don't do it. it's a little bit more expensive but it's so worth it my vagina is so much happier and me personally, when I used to wear pads, no matter how many times I changed them, I would always get like this diaper rash thing. And I, I still think it's just because of the chemicals on my sensitive skin. And I literally have to put like A&D and coconut oil around my area down there because it would just be like this chafeness. But since I started using organic panty liners and even some pads on my heavy days if I know I'm going to be out for a long time and I will not have access to a bathroom. Organic cotton feminine products are the way to go. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching.